if you want to be on YouTube, sis, the main thing you have to do is post. That's your main thing. You have to post. You have to be consistent. It's okay to have be influenced by somebody, but be your own self, okay? Sis, make sure you share my videos out there. If you like videos like, no, that ain't how it goes. I didn't have too much to drink. <laughs> I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you can Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky if you're new and welcome back to another video. But the reason that I came on here this is, is to talk to you guys about my five month anniversary as a part time YouTuber. Yes you guys, it's getting ready to be five months that I first created my YouTube journey i started my i uploaded my first video on november the 4th of uh, 2021 so yes to me i was nervous i was afraid i was so scared that um i would be judged you know because i wanted to be on youtube yeah yeah and i wanted to do it for like maybe three weeks before i even talk to anybody about it i had made a video but i deleted everything because i was so nervous and scared that you know like i said that you know somebody would have something to say but that's why i'm on here today you guys i wanted to talk to you guys about my experience on first starting my youtube journey and all the things that you need to know before you start your youtube channel you guys okay do y'all want to see something like that so I'm not going to keep you long. Let's just go ahead and get on into it. For me, see, you just have to start it. You just have to start the channel. Don't let whatever you have fears for somebody else hold you back from your journey. Okay? And I'll say that again. Don't let your fears from somebody else's feelings stop you from your journey. Because that's that's stopping your movement. That's stopping your your growth that's stopping you from wanting to do anything if you don't start a job because you're fearful because somebody else might not like it you'll never get anywhere this is what i suggest because i didn't do this go ahead and just make a video about whatever it is you're going to make that video about to get your nerves out to get everything out that you think is going to you know the bugs i say the bugs the kinks go ahead and just make the video Upload the video, but you don't have to post the video. You know that, right? You can always delete it. But what you'll do is you'll just let your family and friends and coworkers see the video. Y'all can have like a, 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 you can just invite them over, let them see the video, have something wrote out, uh, you know, like some papers wrote out for them to write, to kind of critique you. Even though you're going to take some of the suggestions, you don't have to take all of the suggestions. But let's just have like a family member, you know, look at the videos. Your friends, your coworkers, whatever. Let's, you know, let's see this, whoever. Have them look at the video. And that way you'll be able to have a crowd of people, of, of more supporters that's for you, this team you, that can help you, you know, if you're talking too fast, if you're talking too slow, if you're not being your true self, you know what I'm saying, in front of the camera. You know, because we're all going to be nervous, but if you're not being your true self, they'll know. Your family members are going to know. They were like, you don't talk like that. You don't act like that. Why are you acting like that in front of the camera? That's the first thing. So for me, if I would have knew that I should have had about five to ten videos already set and ready to, even if it's seven to ten minutes long, since it's fine. Those videos will be looked at. Those are the ones they like the most is the ones that's short. Okay? Yeah. So have you about seven to ten videos already ready, sis, ready locked and loaded ready to be uploaded to youtube okay it'll be much appreciated you'll be so happy with yourself because you won't be running around trying to figure out how i'm gonna work my full-time job and do youtube you don't have to worry about this because you got some videos already ready okay okay we'll get us a drink off of that hmm the smell you gotta have a phone or you have to have a camera and if you're filming on your phone, make sure that you have it turned sideways, you guys. Not upwards when you're doing your YouTube videos, okay? Okay. And see, so later on I'll tell you what kind of camera that I have now. My first camera was the Nikon Pixel uh, 
I'll put a description of it right here. You, I'll put a little picture up over here or on this side right here. I'll put a picture of the type of camera that I had, you guys. And don't get me wrong, it was a, it was an okay camera, but I couldn't adjust like the lighting, and it was hard for me to adjust different things inside the camera because I didn't know how to work the camera. First of all, sis, when you start either with your phone or your camera, you're going to have to have a video editor, sis. Guys, I edit on my phone, and I still edit on my phone. I use CapCut. Yes, I use CapCut to edit my videos. I love it because it's simple. It's, it's straight to the point, and you can also edit in Canva. And that's another site that you can download for free. And Canva will help you with your thumbnails. So anything starting out that's free, sis, I'm talking free. It's free. That's what you want to look for. Okay, y'all. And did you know that YouTube, the in YouTube Studio, it provides a free editing software as well. YouTube does. And they also provide free music. So you won't get copyrighted, sis. If you're trying to make a video and you want to add some music to it, you can do it in the YouTube studio. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. That deserves a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sis, I didn't know that I could put music on my video until I had been like the, maybe like the seventh or eighth video. I found out that I could get music. Free music through YouTube. Yeah. I was like, and then I can edit. But I don't like editing in YouTube because they don't give you all the bells and whistles. But if that's what you want to do, sis, you have it there. It's a free. It's free for you. Mm -hmm. And the next thing that um, I use, sis, for my music is SoundCloud. The best free music is through YouTube because you're not going to get any copyright claims through YouTube. Okay, but if you decide to put some music from a different uh, app, the one I use is SoundCloud, and I pay $10 a month, and I still sometimes get copyright claims, you guys, when I upload a video. Yeah, even though I pay $10 a month, it doesn't mean that uh, I'm not going to get a copyright strike. And at the end of this video, you guys, I'm going to tell you something that you can do that's real simple, sis. And whenever you get ready to load your videos, okay? So, stay tuned. I got something real simple for y'all about using non-copyrighted music, okay? You're going to always have to have storage. Storage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Either on your desktop or your laptop. But guess what happens? If you have a lot of videos and upload a lot of videos to your phone, phone or to your laptop or to your desktop it's going to fry your laptop it's going to burn it up you see because your 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 computers only come with so much storage you guys so at the end of the video i'm going to give you all the things that i had bought to make sure that i'm not doing that you guys because in the beginning i had to keep on deleting videos some of my videos didn't even get posted you have to be careful with your storage okay we agree we agree we're moving on okay sis number six is sis you have to be consistent on this platform if you tell people you're going to be posting your videos on whatever day that's what you have to do because it's like a TV show that you really, really love, right? And they, they tell you, we're coming on on Thursday nights. Like my favorite TV show is SUV, okay? Special Victims, Organized Crime. Yeah, and Elliot and Mariska, Mariska Tay, Olivia, and they, they ain't on, I'm going to be upset because that's the time that y'all come on. So it's the same thing with your YouTube channel. You tell people that you're posting on this day, sis, you got to be consistent and you have to post on that day. Because you might have one YouTuber that really, really like you and she really, really cut for you. She'll, she'll, she'll sit down and tell everybody about you. That one individual might know a thousand people that she's going to be telling, sharing your video in your so you know y'all need to go watch her pinky 50 plus girl she gotta go girl i love her like we do i do that 
whenever I find somebody I like, I'm always telling y'all to go watch them. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's how we do. We it's like a chain of individuals telling other people, and that's how people get all of their subscribers. They don't just wake up one day and have subscribers. It's the no. Somebody told them that y'all need to go watch her. She she good with that makeup or you know, she good with being informative or she good with she she work out. Whatever it is, sis, that's how you're going to blow up. That's how people are going to know you is you being consistent, you being mindful of whichever if you only got one viewer, you being mindful of that one viewer because that one viewer is the person that's telling other people about your channel. The next thing is y'all YouTube is not a comp competition sis it's not a competition okay we all on the same platform we all expecting the same kind of outcome whether it be you got 10 subscribers 100 subscribers 20,000 subscribers or a million subscribers we're all expecting the same outcome that at the end of each video somebody is watching us they appreciate what we get what we gave of them in the video the quality of the video, being informative, whatever it is that we did. And this is number eight. Be yourself. Sis, be yourself because they're going to know. They're going to know. Yeah, they're going to know. Don't get on here talking about you buy all kind of bags because you saw somebody else buying bags, but you really don't even buy bags. Okay, don't get on her talking about you shop at Trader Joe's when you really don't shop at Trader Joe's. You shopping there, you shopping at Trader Joe's because you saw somebody else shopping at Trader Joe's, and you don't really even spend your coin like that. Don't get on here doing stuff that you normally would not do. They gonna know, sis. They gonna be able to read you. And my biggest advice to you guys is to be yourself. That's number eight. And let's get into what you're gonna be needing for YouTube. Okay. Yeah, that's all I had for, I had eight things, you guys, okay? Eight things. Start your channel, have some content, and I wrote down about 50 things that I could talk about with you guys when I first wanted to start my channel. I just got a list out and I just started writing, okay? So that's another thing you could do, okay? It's... Make sure you have about five to ten videos in the chamber ready to go, sis. Okay? And you can go ahead and just write out some, some ideas, some suggestions, you know, of what you want to talk about. And you can keep your videos short and cute and sweet and just upload. Third thing, you're going to have to have a phone or a camera. You're going to have to, within this category, you're going to have to have the video editor. You're going to have to have some music. I gave you the suggestions, either YouTube video editor or YouTube music, or you can do your what's the editor that's on your phone. Mine came with Cap. I, I downloaded CapCut because I have a Galaxy phone. Okay, so that's an Android. So um, music, I pay ten dollars a month for SoundCloud, you guys. Okay, ten dollars a month, but that doesn't stop me from getting copyrighted just because I have that. Remember that. Be mindful of that, okay? When you upload a video, these are the artist's music. So if they want to tell you 10 months from now, get, 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 what did you know you using my music? They can do that. It's their music, okay? Storage. That's the fifth thing. You're going to have to have storage, you guys. You cannot film videos day after day and expect not to run out of storage. You have to have storage. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what storage that I have, okay? You have to, number six, be consistent. You have to be consistent to be on YouTube. You can't post once a month and expect to get subscribers. It doesn't work like that unless you got a bad-ass video. Sis, sis, what video you got that you didn't put out? Yeah, where you only posted once a month. I want to know what his name is. <laughs> What's the name of the video? I want to know where you can post once a month and get away with that and still have a bunch of subscribers. Yeah, I ain't, I don't know. Mm -mm. I don't know. Okay, number six, being consistent. Number seven, 
This is not a competition. We all can flourish on YouTube. Number eight, be yourself, sis. I came on here myself, okay? And if people don't like me for myself, then oh well. They're going to, they'll tune in to the next person, okay? But be yourself because once they find out that you're not being your true self, they're going to stop watching you anyway. Okay? So you have to remember that. Don't get on here being fake. They're going to, they're going to know, sis. They're going to know. Okay, so let's get into equipment. This is my favorite part right here. Y'all, so remember I told you, you got to have a phone or you have to have a camera. And this is my, you guys. This is where I keep all my little equipment at. And right now I am filming on my camera. My camera is the Canon SX740. 40 times optical zoom. You guys, I really like it because it's easy. I got on the Canon website and I put in a camera that was refurbished. You guys, and my camera was $250. Yeah, yeah. A refurbished camera which is it's the same it's the same camera but it's just refurbished you guys with that being said you don't have to have no camera you don't have to have that you can just use your phone but remember your phone is going to have to have storage this is a good beginner camera you guys okay so the next thing you guys is I was able to get a portable storage and I want to say thank you to Kayla K Kayla K, thank you, sis. Because because of your video, it helped me understand that sis, you need storage. Storage is everything. When I tell you that, it's everything. You're gonna have to have storage, guys. So I bought the WD Elements. This is the storage that I got. This is what it looks like. And I have everything in the links be below, you guys. This is it. Hey, Lakai. Thank you, sis. She is the one that told me, and I have her information, because she's always putting us on to different stuff that we didn't know about. Her and Naturally Sunny. I love both of them, because whenever they talking to us, you guys, they'll just stop and say, y'all, make sure when you're doing this, or when you're editing, or let me show y'all how I edit my video. This is what I got. I ordered it from Amazon. And it cost me like 40 bucks. The next thing, let me, I'm looking at my notes while I'm talking to y'all. 71 USB C port. Sis, this thing is what holds. This is it right here, y'all. Can y'all see that? This is it. And sis, this right here is what you put your SD card in. Look, sis, you put your SD card off in here. It goes off in there, just like that. And this part plugs into your laptop, your desktop. That way, because sometimes when we film on our camera, even if you have an older model camera, it might not have Bluetooth. You know, so that you can send everything to, to your laptop by Bluetooth or send everything to your phone by Bluetooth. You might not have all of that. So what you can do is you can take your SD card out of your camera, put it in here, and this plugs into your laptop. And then it'll upload those videos for you. And see, the best thing about this is, it this part comes off. And I did have to order this separate because this part did not fit into my HP laptop because... My HP laptop is an older computer. It's an older laptop. So I had to go on Amazon and order this piece to click in so that it could fit into my laptop. I have everything listed below. I keep saying it because I want y'all to know that, that I got you. Sis, because it can be confusing. This part also can fit into your smartphone. Did you see what I just did? You can either use this piece. To click it on here to go into your laptop or you can take it off and put it into your smartphone so any videos that you have on your smartphone that you want to go to this sd card you can just take them and put it onto this sd card sis or any videos that's on this sd card you could upload them to your phone and then do your editing like i do let's get into the next thing sis batteries sis if you have a camera, yeah, if you have a camera, 
I suggest you getting two batteries. I suggest you get two batteries, sis. I have two. I have one that I'm using that I'm talking to you guys on. And then I bought another one from Amazon. It was like, I want to say $15. Okay? You have to have batteries. I always have you at least two batteries, sis. Okay? Next thing is lighting. Sis, the best lighting is natural lighting. So if you're somewhere where you're by a window and you're able to just do your videos by that window to get the natural light, sis, you won. You have won. That means you don't got to go buy a bunch of stuff. Like what, I'm, what I have right now, what I'm using right now. This ring light was $20. It came with the tripod that it, I'm, I got it sitting on. And I got that, you know, from Walmart. The next thing, sis, and I'm looking down at my paper. Sis, 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 make sure you have SD cards because this is what your videos are loaded on. You can get them from Best Buy. You can get them off Amazon, but you have to have SD cards, okay? Sis, you got to have them. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. Yeah, you can film on your phone. You say you can film on your phone all you want, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to have an SD card because the phone is storage, sis. It's storage, okay? And we just talk, we talked about storage, didn't we? We talked about storage, okay? All right. So, sis, now let's get into this music. I use SoundCloud. This is the bonus of the video to me. This is the bonus. So what I do, sis, is I'll upload a video, just a random video, to YouTube. And I'll put like five songs from SoundCloud onto that video. And when you upload that video, if it's a copyright claim to it, YouTube is going to tell you. You don't have to sit around and wait to see after you upload them. The best video you've ever done to wait to see if uh, uh, YouTube is going to say it's a copyright claim. You can make just a random video. Upload it to YouTube. Don't post it. Keep it as private. And put whatever music that you got. From SoundCloud. That's what I do. And put it onto that video. And YouTube is going to let you know. If it's a copyright claim on it. To any one of those songs. Out of the five songs or whatever. How many of them you put on there. With that video. They're going to let you know if it's a copyright claim. If it's not, then you what you do is you save those songs to your file. You save them. Because since now you know you got five songs you can use. I posted a video two months ago and got a copyright claim on it. Yeah. Yeah, the artist, that's my, that's my music. Yes, yeah, sis, and we have to respect that. You have to be respectful of the copyright claim. Take you right off of YouTube, okay? They'll take you right off, sis. If you do something on there that they say you ain't supposed to be doing, they're going to take you right off, okay? So, yeah, yeah. And you don't want that if this is something that you really, really want to do. Sis, that is the end of the video. You guys, I am so happy I was able to bring this video to you guys. This is going to be my five months on YouTube. So I wanted to bring it in with a bang, you guys, and let you guys know, hey, if I would have knew, I would have did it a little bit different. But we all have to learn in our own way. And I wanted to bring y'all the tea, let y'all know what was going on over here. Yeah. Yeah, this is how we post over here. Okay, you guys, that is the end of the video. I hope I was able to bring you some information, much needed information, sis, that I would, wished I would have knew, sis, before I got on this YouTube journey. Y'all, if you want to keep seeing videos from your girl, Pinky, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when your girl... Hey, 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 post another video. Bye, you guys. I would like to and sis, make sure you're living your best life. Be Bye.